I just, it's a little bit old topic right now, but I just want to talk about the Kanye Drake beef. Um, he has a diss, like, snippet. It's like, it's in the verse, but it's like not even like a whole diss track, but it's with French Montana. And for whatever reason, Drake just keeps taking digs at Kanye. And like Kanye publicly, 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 publicly apologized for it. Um, like, I'm sorry for like any negative, like every song that came out didn't have any negative energy. If it did, I'm sorry type shit. Um, I didn't tell Pusha about the baby or whatever. Um, you mentioned his fiance, so of course he gonna go crazy just like anybody would. Um, I need to brush my hair. That's not what he apologized for. Um, and just basically like, like an actual adult, like apologized to Drake. Um, for like any misconceived notions that I had issues with you, I am sorry. Um, means like I'm going to the show, like it's all love, blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, a lot of people was talking shit about Kanye because that's just what people do. Him and Kim, they get so much shit talked about him. But like, I think Kanye has his own fires. He doesn't need another one. And it's like, it's Drake, Aubrey. This is the thing. He apologized like, uh, about the, the Scoopity Poop song. Like, Drake is supposed to be on it, I guess. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I put it out before you got a chance to, like, do something with it, blah, blah, blah. Like, so you're, you're, you're mad because you think someone spilled beans on your industry secret. And you're mad because you went on the Scoopity Poop Whoop song. Like, never mind Pusha. And, like, the onslaught that you got. Let's go, let's go talk to the dude who basically you gave so much credit for, for your sound, your music in the beginning, uh, the confidence to do the music, the confidence to be yourself. Like, even if you're like a weirdo or don't fit the normal grain, the con the, this dude Kanye gave Drake the confidence to be himself. But let me diss this dude because he told, I think he told people about my secret child. Never mind that Rihanna had came already openly came out and said, like, we're not enemies, but I wouldn't really say we're friends type shit. And now we know why. And we don't even see Nikki hanging out with Drake like that anymore. Now we know why. And but yeah, let's blame Kanye for potentially giving Pusha T the ammunition. Because really, it was just one part. <laughs> Let that boy come home. Like that was really, it was one part where he mentioned the child, calling him a deadbeat. Let that boy come home. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and like, it's just crazy how people thought process works with certain stuff because you know, never mind this dude that actually said something to me. I'm going to go talk about the dude I think told him my business. No, like, there is an order. You you come back at Pusha, and then you go back at Kanye if you feel the need to. It's just crazy. And the subtle digs, like, checks over, checks over stripes, don't wear no 350s around me. Dude, you are, like, the most basicest... I don't like you. I don't like you. Little kid, like, come on, blackface Drake. I can't get over that. I don't care what BS excuse they try to get. This dude's in blackface and like no one cares. People just want to sing along to his his little music. Like that turned me off so hard. And now this manufactured beef with Kanye, but he wanna ignore Pusha. Cause he don't want no smoke, cuz. He ain't ready for it. And it's like, that lets me further know. Nikki told Meek, chill. Don't go in on him. Don't, don't, don't do it. He's not, he's too soft. He's too sensitive. Don't come at Aubrey. But, you know, whatever. That's just how I feel. It's just annoying because he, he gave Kanye so much credit. Just try to turn his back on because he, he thought he spilled the beans on the secret. And the thing is, Kanye did the whole Pusha T, Drake beef anyway. He was like, yo, this is enough. Came out publicly with that too. And then why would he dead the beef if he told your business? Like if he was that, if someone tells your business, they kind of upset with you. Even on some gossip shit, they don't really mess with you. But he dead it the beef. Like, yo, we gonna be, there was, there was lines crossed on both sides.
And he even said his apology, like, I never listened to the song. I just heard, like, lines. It was like, oh, man, this is going too far. But I don't know. I'm always Team Kanye. I don't care. This is my idol um, from Chicago, Southside also. Like, things he do, I'm that one of them stands that be like, yo, no matter what he does, I'm going to support because he's the best person alive. No, that's not me because, I mean, some stuff just don't make sense. Some stuff is like, come on, man. You're making it hard to root for you. But I'm going to always be a fan. I'm going to always look at his potential thought process before I really, like, jump on against him like the public do. But I don't know. I just want a diss track. I want to keep this going. I want Pusha to come back, be like, yo, you talking stuff about my label, my label, and come at him. That'd be so awesome. But I doubt it. It's good for it's good for the sport, man. It's good for the sport. It's good for rap. We need beef. Constructive beef. Not like 90s. Tupac, Biggie, beef. We need beef.